All right, so uh, we are in Capture One. This is a few days later after uh, my shoot with the beautiful Rhonda. Um, I just wanted to jump in to kind of show you guys a few of the images that we got from the shoot um, and, and to kind of give you an idea of how I, I color correct and, and what kind of story I'm telling through my editing. Um, I really do like sort of photojournalistic editorial editing styles. Um, I don't really like uh, really overly edited photos, um, things that look too polished. I kind of like a little bit of rough edges. I, I grew up in the 80s. Let's jump into here. We're going to jump into uh, Capture One. I have a few images from the shoot here, as you can see. And I really do feel like they're in a great place when it comes to the sharpness, the quality, the skin tones, all of that great stuff. So I'm going to start out with um, one of the flash. So I'm going to start out with our first set here um, where she's sitting right under the light. The light's kind of uh, at the top right hand corner. That's fine. We're not going to worry about that too much. I'm going to go up to my adjustments area and I have kind of like a basic style. I like adding to all of my um, all of my photos, but I also have a couple of other presets. All right, so I got a couple black and whites. One is black and white clean, the other one is uh, black and white, just a base sort of black and white with less contrast. Um, I got butter love, which I love. And then I got uh, and I got a contrast neutral. So I'm going to start out with the Tristan B day preset. And uh, as you can see, our blacks are kind of crushed and um, yeah, we can't see the details on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my exposure and I'm just going to bring up my exposure until I feel like the, the skin tones are where I want them to be. And then I'm actually going to go to my black and by, by default, the black is like negative 17. So we got to pull up the blacks a bit. So I'll probably bring them up to like 15. And now we're in a really good place uh, where I like it. The only other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to jump over to my color correction area. And I'm just going to uh, check out where our, our actual skin tone is, right? And that the skin tone kind of changed a bit to a greenish from this sort of more magenta to a green. So it depends on really your, your preference. I like the magenta a little bit more. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna change the, the hue a bit, and pull it pull it closer to where I want it to be. And I like, I like actually bringing down the lightness. And I like that sort of richness and that, that sort of bringing down the tones of the color. I feel like it looks better. Now, if we go to the before and after, you can see the difference. This is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Let me see the full screen here. Before and after, before and after. So as you can see, there's a little bit more contrast, a little bit more punch, which I really like. I'm also going to actually add in, this is a little thing that I like adding in. If I go under the details tab, I always like adding in a little bit of film. So I'm gonna to go to soft grain. And I'm gonna add the impact to about 28. And now when I go in, if I zoom into the image, there's a little bit of grain here. Now, all I need to do from this point on is if I wanna take out um, some of her blemishes, I can take out some of her blemishes let me just go in closer here and I'm going to take this down nice and small. Boom, 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 boom. I can take out her blemishes and I can actually replace it with something else that will be mixed again. I'm going to take out more blemishes, more blemishes, right, really quickly. So I'm going to jump out of that and now I have that, right? And if you want to look at the layer, the retouching layer, the heel layer, I can take it off. And if I put it back on, you can see how much it's actually helped her face a bit. All right, we just got rid of a whole bunch of stuff there. All right, so 
that's our first image here. The other thing too that you can do is if you don't, if you know that you are in a situation where it's consistent lighting all the time, then you can just copy and paste this onto the next thing. So I kind of shuttered down or brought down my ISO a bit in this one. So it didn't pop up and need to actually brighten it up a bit more. So I'm going to brighten it up just slightly a little bit more. Boom, boom, boom. And then if I compare it to this is how it was before, let me full screen it here. This is how it was before. This is how it is now. Right. I might put it add a little bit of a vignette to really bring in, um, just bring in focus to her face and to what she's doing. But I like where that is staying. Now, this one was a little bit more trickier because with this particular shot, I didn't want to blow out the window, but at the same time, I didn't want to lose her all in the shadows as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to the adjustments. I'm going to go to styles, custom styles. I'm going to go back to Tristan B day. And as you can see, again, um, we're losing a lot of Rhonda in the shadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up my blacks again and get some of that back. Not too, too much because you don't want to give up too much. I just want to give up enough. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to warm this up. All right. I just want to warm that up. So it just gives us a little bit more of an inviting vibe. So I'm going to leave it at that level here. I'm going to go to my color. I'm actually going to go under advanced and under advanced. I'm going to actually, I'm going to sub sample this black and the black is automatically going to, going to go to the blue. And because there's no blue in my picture, what I can do is I can take out the blue out of the black to get a really deep black. It's a little bit better. You know what I mean? I can bring this out a little bit more. So it really takes out all of the blue. So now that we have all the blue out of there, we can also go to skin tone and we can make adjustments on the skin tone. Right. But I feel like the skin tone was in the right place. So I'm going to leave that as such. These shots over here were actually different because if you look right in our eye, there's actually a fill light that I have over to the side. Um, and I had a fill light over to the side because I didn't want to do the split lighting anymore. I want to have more of a of, of or, or less of a contrast, I should say. So I was filling the face here with enough light that it's it's still a little less lit than the window side, but it gives us less contrast, right? As opposed to um, going back to these shots here. This is really high contrast, like very split lighting, right? You can see how split the lighting is. I'm gonna go to my adjustments. I'm going to go to my styles, custom, go to neutral contrast here. And under my neutral contra contrast, this is my setup here. This is the neutral contrast. And it looks like it's ready to go already. Now, again, I may not want it this warm. Maybe I want to, I want to tweak it a bit and make it cooler. I can bring it down and make it cooler. And that's how it looks cooler, right? A little bit more naturalistic, right? depending on what you're, what feel you're going for, right? If you want to go for warmer, you can go for warmer. If you want to go for a cooler, you can go for cooler. Again, if you don't have any presets, what you can do is I always like starting out with, um, balancing out my colors. So I try and find the whitest thing or the blackest thing and try and get it to that true space. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brighten this up a bit. Um, the next thing I like doing is bring up my shadows just slightly. I like bringing up my shadows. Once I do that, then I want to, what I want to do is I always want to go back to color and I want to, want to lock in on skin tone. So for me, it's really about not making the skin tones too magenta, right? Like this would be way too magenta for me. And then this would be really green um, for me as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it back uh, to about, 3.9 to four points and that's going to give me what I want. And then I'm going to bring down my, the darkness of the skin. I don't want to bring it on too much because the skin wasn't like that, but I also don't want to bring, make it so bright that it looks unnatural. So I'll put it to about negative 4.3. 
we have that. Now, if you want to save any of those adjustments, you can go up to adjustments, styles, um, save custom styles. And then that way, if you want to reuse that style over and over and over again, you can do that as well. So as you can see, the A7 Mark IV is dope. Um, I'm really liking the resolution on it, the sharpness on it, uh, the way it reacts to both uh, native lenses and non-native lenses. It's just, I, I really had a great time uh, creating with this, this camera. It's actually uh, something that I'm gonna enjoy shooting with uh, in future shoots. But until then, I gotta get some sleep. I'm tired, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly how uh, the end of the shoot went. And if you have any questions, please comment uh, below. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, stay creative, stay blessed, and stay energized. Peace.